Electric cars, night vision goggles, smartphones. As our world becomes more reliant on technology, the importance of the unique properties of rare earth elements is increasing, and so is the value of a rare earth geological occurrence known as an ionic adsorption clay deposit. What does that mean? Let's go back to basics. Rare earth elements are a group of 17 elements that are incredibly tightly bound within a lot of hard minerals, like those in granite which means discovering an economically viable deposit is not just about finding an area with elevated levels of rare earths, but more importantly, one that is in a geological setting that makes it easy to separate the rare earths from the surrounding rock. And that's where ionic adsorption clay deposits come in. In these cases, Mother Nature has done a lot of the heavy lifting. With millions of years of weathering, breaking down the hard rocks and minerals, leaving the rare earths loosely bonded to the resulting clays, like kaolin. Currently, China has a stranglehold on the world's rare earth market. Over 90% of the world's rare earth supply comes from China and neighbouring Myanmar. In recent years, the Chinese government has been retaining more and more of this supply for domestic use. With rare earths being critical for the production of the highly efficient magnets used in renewables, through to having a huge range of military and security applications, this is a problem. Governments around the world are now classifying them as strategic or critical minerals and investing heavily in securing a rock-solid supply. For example, the $2 billion loan facility that the Australian government launched in 2021 specifically for critical minerals projects. This is further increasing the value of ionic adsorption clay deposits discovered in first world countries with good mining jurisdictions. Like the one that iTech Minerals is working hard to define at the Eyre Peninsula Kaolin and Rare Earth Element Project in South Australia. Rare Earth Elements, a critical part of Australia's future. <laughs>